Hello everyone, and this is video tutorial 1.1.13, um, Describe a range of methods that can prevent data loss. I would like to um, give credits to Cosmo Wilson for making this PowerPoint, and thanks to him for letting me make a video screencast for this. So let's get started about the data loss prevention. This links directly um, back to 1.1.12. So the first type of data loss uh, prevention is RAID, which is redundant array of independent disk. So redundant um, means extra copies. Um, backup. This could include backups, copies of a file, entire hard disk copied onto an external hard disk, take backups of hard disk stored in a safe place. So there's uh, RAID 0. This is when the different blocks are split. So um, this RAID 0 um, it's the it's called uh, striping operations when their um, different informations are split up to different parts. Um, the there's also one called RAID one where it is mirrored data to both drives, so it's identical, like a duplicate. So we can think this as a cloud drive kind of thing, as it's um, duplicated. And sorry. Um, that's mirroring and there's RAID 5 which is parity across all drives so basically when data is data um, extra copies are made from one drive to another and um, for this one there are different partition data and these requires parity checks to make it much more um, safe like this parity 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 so the RAID operations, um, it's accessible to individuals and large businesses as it has a large selection to choose from. So let's say if you're an individual, you would choose 0 or 1. But if you're a large business, you, would, you might choose RAID 5 or RAID 6. It can combine additional RAID levels for even more combinations. Second type is known as a master or slave backup. Um, this is when um, the server is down and the master takes the slave information. Um, there are there might there may be multiple slave systems and the slaves they might be connected to one another. So it's like a food web or a web type of thing. And they a single or multiple slave system um, information is sent from the masters to the slave every single time but when the master is down they will take information from the slaves. The third one is called um, sharding so this is used to prevent hacking and it breaks up a file into many smaller fragments and these separate files are then spread across the backup system and it's very useful for businesses with multiple servers and requiring more security from intruders. There's also a failover system. This is when backup hardware automatically starts working when an error occurs. So this is 24-7, useful for banking. So typically used for a node backup system. Node is meant by the um, connection from server to internet. And it uh, uh, will typically connect to the same server as the nodes can be replaced or fixed easily. If a multiple server layout is used, then the same system can be applied. The third one, I mean the, I think it's the fifth one, sorry, can be called encryption. And encryption provides a wide range of different services available, such as symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. Uh, symmetric encryption is when encryption and decryption uses the same key. And asymmetric keys or asymmetric encryption is when they use different keys. There's a public key and a private key. We li can link this back to IGCSC computer science. It's um, available to individuals, businesses, easy step, and can be deployed in a wide range of device or situations. There's also off site storage. <clears throat> Sorry, and this is when um, they provide a server with the near latest backup which is suitable for large firms with critical data off-site storage like banks would do this and it is not connected to the internet normally only available through the business's own network 
and is, it is normally placed away from the businesses to prevent loss of data in case of environmental damage. And finally, um, there's cloud storage. I think this is the last one, or second last one. Cloud storage is available to individuals and businesses, and it's getting much more popular nowadays. As I use OneDrive, lots of my friends use Google Drive. It is accessible at all times as long as there's an internet connection, but if there's not, you can access it offline if, if you have synced it before. And there are a wide range, of, wide range of plans and options available like Dropbox. And final one is removable media, which includes external hard drives, sorry, external hard disks, USB sticks, a writable DVD, and tapes. And there's also something, um, a term called generation backups um, when this is when they make a complete backup for one week then another complete backup the following week and each new backup is a new generation and the system keeps copies of many generations and if mistakes are discovered weeks later it's possible to retrieve the data from a long time ago this is known as generation backups um, and yeah thank you for watching and thanks to Cosmo again and hope you all have learned something